Gather round. No pushing. Behold the ivy of England, a queen in her own right, able to withstand the siege of cold that came upon them that night. Hey y'all, it's Sarah. As y'all know, I lost a lot of plants in that freeze and it's fine, I'm dealing with it. I wanted to talk about the plant of the month because the English ivy, y'all, does not look like it got touched by that eight degrees. This is incredible. Like everything else was dead dead. And this one, I think even put out new leaves. What? Like what is going on with you, you magic? magical plants. I'm pretty excited about this fun made up contest. Couldn't think of a more deserving plant to be plant of the month this January. I'm really hoping that this doesn't cause some interplantal relationship problems in the house. There could be a rift between some of them. Jealousy, green with envy if you will. And some of them might even drop leaves out of spite. I might have to remind them who the boss is. English ivy, awesome plant to have in your collection because when I came in here to a bunch of brown plants, this one looked back at me with green leaves. You don't want these to dry out. They don't need any direct sun and keep them humid. I keep, I just keep it watered. I don't let it dry out because when these dry out, they, you know, get crispy, all that stuff. But even worse, spider mites could move in. So we don't want that to happen, right? So just keep it watered well. You're gonna love this plant. I know I do. It was my saving grace. It made me feel like not such a failure when I walked into my greenhouse. But anyways, the English ivy, it is cold tolerant. It's wonderful. Go English Ivy. If you watched my frozen plant video, some of y'all might be worried about the plants that are in my greenhouse and for good reason. I haven't quite gotten it figured out just yet, but I will, I will. I'm going to figure out how to keep it safe in there for them. But until then, I'm gonna use it as a threat to these house plants that can't get it together. You better straighten up or I'm gonna put you in that greenhouse. That works for me right now. Thank you for watching my very first plant of the month video. Be looking for February's plant of the month coming in February. The reason the English Ivy got plant of the month for January is because it was so tolerant of the cold. When all those other plants in the greenhouse let me down, this one was there to just brighten my day. Y'all be looking for plant of the month for February and I'll see y'all then, probably before then, but until then, see y'all later. Giving hope to the weary, the others called out her name until their voices grew faint, the cold smothering their flames. Oh no, oh my, how terrible. But out of the ashes like phoenix they rose, the children of the fallen and survivors of the storm. They followed their queen into the sun and they swore they had never seen a plant so tolerant before. Mmm, water, so good. Some, how about you? Nope, mine.